We're with the guys from Cram Studios. How are you guys doing? Hey, good, thanks, man. We're very really good. Having a good day. So just meeting everyone, greeting everyone, and selling some good artwork. Yeah. Or hoping to anyway. Is this the first time at Oz Comic Con or have you come a couple of other times? Uh, no, we've been to each Oz Comic Con for quite a few hours since its uh, inaugural start. Um, each time we, each time it keeps getting bigger, it keeps getting more popular and it's always great fun coming and meeting everyone and seeing all the new exhibitions and people that keep featuring here. And so, with your history in regards to all this artwork here, um, how long have you been drawing for? Uh, I've been drawing for uh, quite a few number of years since high school. Uh, I started in primary school, always had a knack for drawing, always really loved it. It was always a passion of mine. Uh, so I went through and studied and went through art school and art history and things. Um, and then it's just the artwork that's here today is just an evolution of it all where computer programs started coming into it. It's uh, just different styles, different influences, and it's just all evolved from that. So, um, like, given what we see here, we see lots of pop culture. Do you draw anything else as well, like this art? Or... Uh, yeah, I draw a lot of things. It's, uh, it's anything and everything is what I tend to put it as. Um, it's, it's, I tend to, I've just started doing a lot with uh, gig posters. So I just finished a, the world tour poster for Kiss. Um, I just finished one for a Comedians Australia tour back home. And I've got a few more things in the works that I'm not allowed to talk about, but it's, yeah, it's everything's on the table for me. Nothing's really not in there. The only thing I'm not very good at that I'm practicing a lot more of is fantasy artwork to do sort of werewolves and World of Warcraft and Blizzard type situations. But it's something that I'm practicing and will hopefully get better in the future. Have you actually, you know, done any comic art like for comic books and things? And uh, I've I've created my own comic book. Um, I went through and created it, illustrated it all, came up with a story and stuff back in high school um, and just released it out in publish and I'm currently in the works and in negotiations to start illustrating a new, uh, a new comic book later in the year. So, so could you tell us a little bit about it, like the, the one that's been published already? Uh, the one that's been published already is a sort of a sci-fi adventure. Um, it's all about a group of guys that was very much uh, sort of anime and manga based. Um, about a bunch of guys that come in to find some stones that have fallen down from space. And these stones happen to have a bunch of powers and stuff mixed with them. And when it's involved with a person, they go through and they just start battling demons and bad guys and taking it from there. Fantastic, fantastic. So, so look at yourself. Um, yep. How did you get involved with um, with Cram Studios and, and art in general? Well, I've, I've known Michael for a very long time, <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah, we I just um, wanted to start helping him, you know, create Cram Studios, and I pretty much just sell the the prints. I draw a mean stick figure, I just uh, not as good as he is. So um, yeah, and no, I just that's how I got into it. I just wanted to help my bud, and uh, you know, just wanted to make something of him and. You know, we've dominated Australia now, so we're moving on to global global talents now. So we have just we have just finished our first uh, big international convention where we were just at Wizard World Chicago, um, which went very well and we're very pleased with that and we're hoping to do a few more next year and even the years after that expanded even further. So, so um, any plans like for the future in regards to more artwork or different types of art that you that hope to release? Uh, yeah, there's going to be it's everything here at the moment. It's always a progression, always a learning experience, seeing what we like, seeing what we don't like, um, and it'll always keep evolving, keep changing. Um, generally, I was just talking to these guys earlier today uh, that all this stuff I'm kind of getting a bit tired of, so it's all it's back onto the drawing board now, and it's all going to get revamped, refreshed, and be all new by next year as well. So. so um I know it might be difficult um, to sort of pick, but do you guys have a favourite out of all the artwork we've seen? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go time. with Ricky's favourite first. Oh man, do I have a... I don't have a favourite favourite, but one of the ones that I've loved that Mike did, and it was just like, we didn't even talk about it, he just did it on the on the fly, was the bat pull here, which I'm going to show, I'm going to put on the camera here. <laughs> this, this, is, this is why he works at Cram Studios. This is just straight up. Just, it wasn't even like usually we talk about prints or we have think about ideas, but this was just one night just flicked in his head and booyah. That's one of our best sellers too. So, uh, I I personally don't have a favorite. There are ones that I like above others. Um, the new Geisha print and Native American 
black and white and red uh, that I did over on the side. Um, a couple of the sketch Dragon Ball Zs and screws. Each one is uh, my Spider-Man in the background that you can't really see, but um, yeah, sort of Mexi Funk inspired over thing, art, pop, deco, vector sort of inspired. Um, art's always a learning experience for me, so I'm always going to come across new ideas, new inspirations, want to explore that style of artwork, want to explore that type of thing, um, and just seeing what I can apply it to. I like mashing up different styles, different genres, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, um, and bringing it into the modern and just having fun with it. And, and that, that's what makes art basically, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Fantastic. Anyway guys, I know um, Adrian's a bit busy at the moment. But yeah. yeah, Adrian's Adrian's very busy. He is the face of Cram Studios and we like to be involved. Um, as you can see, he stands out with his radical hair. He's, he's working hard though, he's working He's hard. working very hard so we won't disturb him too much and yes. Fantastic. Anyway, we hope to hear more good news from you guys. We're getting there on the global domination of art, which is good. Yeah. Yep. And yep, good luck in the future, guys. Definitely. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for coming to Oz Comic Con. It's a pleasure to meet everyone and a pleasure to do art for everyone to enjoy. It's great to be here. Cheers. Thanks very much. Ciao.